Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be comparing two really popular coloured pencil brands. So this is another Battle of the Brands videos. The two pencil brands we are taking a look at today are the Prismacolor Premier pencils and the Karen Darch Luminance pencils. We're going to be comparing the two pencil brands and I will be giving you my honest thoughts on which brand I think is better and which set you should invest in if you are a coloured pencil artist. So let's jump right in and get started. We're going to start by taking a look at each pencil set and I'm going to start with the Prismacolor set. So let's take a look at one of the sets that I own and see what it looks like. So this is the set of 72 pencils which is the second largest Prismacolor set you can buy. The biggest set is actually 150 pencils and it looks a little bit different. So obviously there are quite a few pencils that I don't have but I'll still show you this set. So this set actually comes in quite a sturdy tin whereas the 150 pencils actually comes in quite a fragile cardboard box. So personally I do actually think that this tin is better for protecting the pencils and I think they should probably have just included the tin with the largest set as well. In the tin we have three trays of pencils. The trays are actually plastic and not that great and the little slot in between each pencil doesn't hold them in that well and I find that they are always sliding around and falling out of the tin. So if you are thinking of buying these pencils definitely consider that when you buy them. The main part of the tin casing is pretty strong so that's really good for transport. I had these shipped to me from America so I'm glad that they were in a tin because I think it protects them more and they are less likely to get damaged. You get quite a lot of different colours in this set even though it is only the set of 72 and I will talk more about the colour range later on in the video but as you can see there's a lot of pencils in this set and you can still buy a much smaller set and still have enough pencils to play with as well. Let's talk about the build quality now. So Prismas are definitely not the best quality. A few years ago Prismacolors changed how and where they made their products so the quality control sort of went out the window and that means that there are a lot of issues with these pencils now. The lead is very fragile and very prone to breaking and also the lead inside the wood casing is off-centered so this means that when you apply pressure the lead will just break. There is also no wooden barrel on the end of these pencils so if you drop them the lead will just often shatter inside so you're going to keep getting breakages and a defective product. The only thing that I find really helps with these pencils is using a helical or or an electrical sharpener they help a lot because you just put the pencil into the sharpener and it evenly sharpens the pencil whereas if you use a handheld sharpener you'll be putting too much pressure on the pencil and the lead will just break so see how bad these pencils are here those are the ones i've tried to sharpen with a handheld sharpener but you do get much better results using a helical or electric sharpener like with these pencils they are much sharper and i find that they break less often the sharpener I love to use is the Derwent Manual Sharpener and I find it is so effective for sharpening all kinds of pencils. Next let's take a look at the luminance pencils. Firstly let's talk about how they are presented. So this is the largest set of pencils which is 76 pencils and they come in a large cardboard box. So as I said with the Prismas I think it would be better if they were in a tin as they would be more protected but this box is quite firm and strong so that is good. There's three trays inside and I love these trays because they feel like velvet so the material is really nice and unlike the Prismas colours these pencils fit so nicely in their individual slots so I felt like they were very protective and firmly in place. So for transport or travelling purposes these pencils are really secure in the box and you want that extra security if you're buying these pencils. So just to mention the lid of the box is actually really thick so although it is cardboard it is nice and thick and it isn't flimsy like the box you get for the set of 150 Prismacolor pencils. Mm -hmm. 
The box itself is quite deep and quite hard, so again, it's good to know that although it's cardboard, it's really strong and protected. Okay, so let's take a look at some individual pencils and speak about the build quality of these pencils. So firstly, these pencils are slightly bigger and thicker than Prismacolors and they feel a lot heavier as well. They are definitely manufactured much better than Prismacolors and they have excellent build quality. I love these pencils because they are so good, especially compared to Prismacolors. So they have a centered lead, they have a wooden barrel on the end of the pencil so that protects them if they're accidentally dropped, and I hardly experience any breakages with these pencils. They also sharpen really well with both a handheld sharpener and a helical or electric sharpener. So comparing the two together, I would definitely say that the Luminance pencils are better and they are really good quality. So let's take a look at how these pencils work with a solvent. I'm going to start with the Prismacolor pencils and the solvent I am using is the Zest It Pencil Blend and I'm just using a paintbrush for blending. The Prismacolor pencils work really well with a solvent so if you are someone that loves using a solvent you're going to get really good results with using Prismas with solvent and you're going to get really really vibrant colours as well. I love drawing animals so it's essential that I use pencils that work well with solvents because I always use solvents in my animal studies and Prismas are one of my favourite pencils to use with solvent. They blend really easily and once the solvent has dried it is so easy to go back in and add in very fine details so again if you are someone that loves drawing animals it's easy to add in lots of fur texture over a solvent if you use Prismacolors. Next let's look at the luminance pencils again these pencils are amazing with a solvent because they are wax based and creamy i actually find i get really good results with both so i think either one is a really good one to use with solvents just giving a little demonstration there so i just dab in a paintbrush into the solvent let the excess solvent drip into the bottle and all i do is use soft motions just to blend the pencils out and the one thing you will notice is how much richer and vibrant the colors become and both brands are really effective For detailing, this is where both the Prismas and Luminance struggle a bit. Because they are wax pencils, they are a softer lead, so that means that they aren't the best for small details. For small or precise details, the Faber-Castell Polychromos are better because they are oil-based, so they are a harder lead and able to retain its point more. But that's not to say that you can't achieve high levels of details in your drawings with the Prismas or Luminance pencils, but you will have to sharpen your pencil more and keep them sharp so that the details don't start to go fuzzy. For layering and burnishing, both pencils are amazing for this because they are soft and creamy, so they are able to layer really well, and the more layers that you add, the easier burnishing becomes as well. Layering and burnishing is really good and important if you are someone that likes to draw portraits or cartoons because you want that soft look that you get with those pencils. It's not easy to achieve these results with the Polychromos pencils because, like I said, they are oil-based and they're hard harder to blend, but you can still get good results with them, but the Prismas and Luminance are definitely better.
Both of these pencils unfortunately do produce quite a lot of wax bloom so that is a reflection of glare when you hold your drawings up to the light but I would say that the Prismacolors are slightly worse than the Luminance pencils. Another thing that is a bit of an issue for both Prismacolors and Luminance pencils is smudging. So because both pencils are wax based they will smudge quite a lot and they smudge quite easily as well so it's always best to use a fixative spray especially if you are creating artwork to sell. Let's talk about the colour range for both pencils. So as I said earlier, Prismacolor's largest set is 150 pencils, so that is a lot of pencils and it's the biggest set of pencils that you can get out of all of the brands. So that's good because you will have a huge supply of pencils and a vast range of pencils. And the Prismacolors have a lot of every colour too, so there's a lot of vibrant tones but also more earthy tones and colours suitable for skin tones. The one thing that I would say though is that in the set of 150, a lot of the pencils feel quite samey, so there's loads of sa like similar shades, especially with the more vibrant tones, but then I suppose a good thing about that is that you have almost like duplicates of really similar colours. Also in the smaller set, so for example the set I have, I do actually feel the smaller set lacks more flesh tones and earthy tones. In the set of 72 there are more vibrant tones so you'd have to buy the set of 150 to get more of a range of colours. Although the largest set of the Luminance is a lot smaller, I do feel like there is a really good range of colours and I love the Luminance set because of the natural tones you get in this set and that is really good for portraits. I think there could be a few more vibrant colours like reds, purples and yellows but I think that you get a good range in this set. You will get a lot more colours though in the Prismacolor set of 150 and you get a lot more for your money as well. So I'm going to be talking about the price of both pencil sets in a minute as well. Light fastness is so important and something I really want to talk about because I do feel that this is a defining difference between the Prismas and Luminance. Light fastness is a pencil's ability to resist against fading in natural light and you will definitely want to be using pencils that have a very high light fast rating so you know that you're going to get them to last and your art won't discolour. Prismacolor pencils are well known for having a very poor light fast rating so a lot of those pencils are rated at a 4 or a 5 which means that those pencils will fade and discolor very quickly when exposed to light. So if you are creating artwork for a customer and you are using Prismacolor pencils it's really important that you only use pencils that have a high light fast rating otherwise you're going to get problems very quickly with your art and you're going to end up with unhappy customers. Because of the poor light fast rating I don't use Prismacolors at all in artwork I am selling. To me it's just not worth taking the risk using these pencils. I want to create high quality artwork for my customers and I'd rather be safe than sorry when it comes to this. In saying that though, if you are just creating practice pieces or personal pieces, then light fast might not even be a big thing for you and it's not something that really bothers you, then you know there's no reason why you can't use Prismacolors if it isn't something that bothers you. I'm just leaving the light fast chart for the Prismacolors pencils on the screen right now.
The Luminance pencils, on the other hand, have an excellent light fast rating. In fact, they are the best pencils on the market when it comes to light fastness. All of these pencils are rated at a one or two using the ASTM scale. A one is excellent and a two is good. So if a pencil is rated at a one, it means that pigment will last for a hundred or more years when exposed to light. And a pencil that is rated at a two will last 50 to 100 years before fading. So as I said, a lot of the Prismacolor pencils are rated at a five on this scale. And those pigments have an expectancy of just zero to two years. So you're gonna really see quickly those colors changing and fading. The fact that these pencils are rated so high and that every single pencil is rated high is really important to me because it means that I can create drawings for my customers and I know that my customers will have a drawing that will last. So again, I'm just showing the light fast chart there for all of the luminance pencils. So feel free to pause the video or just skip back to read through it. So let's talk about probably the most important thing when it comes to these pencils, the cost. So we will start with the luminance and these pencils are really expensive and the main reason for that is because of their light fast rating. These pencils are going to set you back between $160 to about $250 depending on where you buy them from and that is for the set of 76 pencils. So I know that is really expensive for a lot of people but there is always the option of buying these pencils open stock so just buying individual pencils and seeing if you like them you can also buy smaller sets of the luminance pencils as well so you don't need to buy the full set of 76 you can buy just much smaller sets which are a lot cheaper the Prismacolor pencils are a lot cheaper and the most affordable pencils for artists so if you are new to coloured pencil or a beginner and you don't want to spend a lot of money on pencils then the Prismacolor pencils may be the best option for you. The largest set of 150 pencils is under $100 and that is not too bad at all so you can also buy smaller sets as well like the set of 76 which is what I have. There's still a lot of pencils in there and it's obviously cheaper. You can also buy these pencils open stock as well so just as individual pencils so that just about finishes off this comparison video and honestly i do feel that the luminance pencils are definitely much more higher quality than prismacolors but that isn't to say that you cannot create amazing art with prismacolors and i definitely think that if you are a beginner and you just want to practice drawing then the prismacolors might be best for you I hope you did enjoy this video and I'd be really interested to know which pencils you prefer or maybe you like another brand of pencils. Let me know down below and if you are new around here don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell as well so you'll be notified of all my future uploads. Anyway guys thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye!